Hi, this is Zach Ledford from HR Technology and Consulting Company, Elgin LLC, and I am joined by professional services architect, Ali from SnapLogic. In this short demo, we're going to talk to you about automating your offboarding process. So we're going to show a termination event inside of the HR IS system of record, in this case, Workday, but just as easily could be whatever your preferred system of choice is, and see that pass through SnapLogic through a series of integrations uh, and an automation pipeline. You're going to see employee files move inside of a digital store inside of Box. We'll see account deprecation or deactivation inside of SkillJar, Salesforce, and ServiceNow. And then finally, you'll see a database update showing that termination event inside of Snowflake. So any of these systems could be interchangeable with whatever you have in your ecosystem. Inside of uh, Snowflake, for instance, it, it could be uh, AWS from Amazon, it could be Google BigQuery, it could be Azure. It really just depends on, on what you have and what your use case looks like. Ultimately, this pipeline is going to save you and your team a ton of time and a ton of money and free up your resources to focus on those other things that your team does really, really well to help drive a bottom line business value. So Ali, I'm going to kick it to you to talk through what we're going to see inside of SnapLogic. Sure. So I am going to go into Workday, the system of record for employee information. We have an employee, uh, Roberto Smith, who has been terminated within Workday. Um, and we can have it such that either Workday will trigger a SnapLogic pipeline on demand. Uh, you can have a SnapLogic pipeline be scheduled or manually executed. Uh, it's up to you in your use case. Um, in this case, uh, we are going to have a SnapLogic pipeline take in a parameter um, of the employee and do a check to see whether the employee was hired or terminated. In this case, the employee was terminated, so the pipeline will go this route for terminations and call the employee offboarding pipeline. And so just going to the offboarding pipeline, we see uh, various systems being called. We have ServiceNow, uh, the employee will be, uh, the, user uh, the user account for them, that employee will be deleted within ServiceNow. Uh, the user account will be deactivated within Salesforce. Uh, there will be a new record uh, within the people analytics uh, uh, pipeline to create a record within Snowflake to indicate the termination for that employee. For Box, uh, the employee's folder information will be moved to a termination uh, folder substructure. And then within LMS, uh, we have a system called SkillJar, and this user uh, will uh, have their account deactivated there. So just checking box, we'll go there first. As we can see uh, previously, Roberto Smith's folder structure used to be in an active location. Now they have been moved to terminated. Um, and this has been done via the SnapLogic pipeline. It was done automatically. ServiceNow, as you can see, we have an account Roberto Smith within ServiceNow. Let's do a search for that same user account now. As you can see, Roberto Smith's account no longer exists. Uh, it has been deleted. Um, so up to you if you would like it, the user account to be deleted or deactivated. Uh, it is just based on your use case. In this particular example, we're doing a deletion. So uh, next up, we have the LMS. As you can see, this date expires uh, value is not there. However, let me do a refresh of the page. After the SnapLogic pipeline has executed, you will see a date expires to one day in the past so that this user can no longer access SkillJar. Going to Salesforce, looking up this user account, you will see Roberto Smith showing is active. I will do a refresh of Salesforce now that the SnapLogic pipeline has been executed. And we will see Roberto Smith is no longer active. So Roberto Smith will no longer be able to access Salesforce. Lastly, with People Analytics, we are using Snowflake. We see one record for now when the user was active, when the employee was active. Now let's do a run. And now we see two records. Um, and the second record, which is the latest record, will indicate a termination, as you can see here, terminated. 
So there you have it. Uh, you, you have an automated process within SnapLogic to offboard this employee from five systems. That's fantastic. Thank you. That's an awesome capability. Uh, something that hit, you know, these, these systems we're looking at here, no limit to how many additional systems we could add onto this workflow. Uh, we could do things like fire off employee lifecycle surveys. So a termination or exit survey via something like Qualtrics or SurveyMonkey. Uh, or if we had a pending set of approvals, as if, if this termination was a manager and those approvals needed to be reassigned, we could do that too. So absolutely no limit, powerful capability, uh, incredibly flexible and customizable. So we'll go ahead and conclude this short demo here. If you're ready to learn how to automate, streamline, and save for your business, contact SnapLogic at Elgin LLC. Can't wait to get a conversation started with you. And thanks for watching.